Hey guys, welcome back to my channel. It has been a really, really, really long time since I last posted. I've just been absolutely flat out with horses, puppies, dogs, birds, and trying to live my life. Coronavirus has ruined the world for most people, but we cannot let that stop us. Coco here has come a really, really long way since you last saw her. As you can see how chill she is, she's just an amazing little creature, aren't you? I've put together a video of what's been keeping us so busy over the last few months so you guys can see what we've been up to. Now, these are my three little Japanese chin puppies that are around about 11 or 12 weeks old now. We've got Mary, Edith who's hiding in the middle, and this little one here who's potentially Susie but we haven't 100% decided on a name yet. So that's enough for me, let's get into this and see what's been keeping us so busy. So the biggest time waster going has been these three gorgeous little girls that Wilma has given me. I am so proud of them. I just can't express how much love I have for these little things. Here is Magda that works with us, having a bit of show jumping training on her cute little pony Zephyr. He's such a little dude, this pony. We've been lunging the horses and getting them a lot fitter, uh, ready to be back in work. Here's me on Danny, not dressed appropriately for the job, but pretending that I can ride and giving it my best shot. He's such a dude, this horse. He's 19 now and here he is doing a string of twos and whatever you ask him to do, he just does his best for you. We've had the horses out in the paddocks, enjoying the weather. Well, we, whatever the best of the weather we have here in the UK, but Manny having a little leg stretch, bless him. I've spent a lot of time over at my close friend, Zach Zoo. Here's his iguana who absolutely loves a head scratch. Now, these are two trumpeter hornbills of theirs who I just, oh, I adore and I love to train them. So whenever I go, I get the privilege to do so. This is Emily, as gorgeous as she is with the little stinky skunks in her hands. These babies are just adorable. The little serval having a nap. Now, here is me being mugged by a bald eagle. Sorry about the quality of this footage, but I've just put whatever I could find together. That's Philippe and he's such a dude. Macaws are brightly coloured birds hailing from South America. They're gregarious, flocking in large numbers. They fill the rainforest with a riot of noise and colour as they take to the sky. Imagine what it would be like if the whole sky were to fill with palace. Here is one of the most spectacular sights you will see. It's the Macaw release in the finale of The Bird Show over at Wild. It just gives me goosebumps every time. So obviously when I got home, I'm even more inspired to fly my own bird. So here's Aurora, Sophia and Zoom having a little wing stretch and coming back as quick as possible to get a treat. And this was when my birds made me the proudest I have been all year. We went to do a really, really cool photo shoot with a really cool brand, Misguided, which are a fashion brand here in the UK. And they were involved in the photo shoot for their latest campaign. And as you can see, nothing phases them. And Carlos just spent the whole day chilling, lapping up all the attention. He just loved it. Next up is Carlos having a little conversation with Flo, who's one of our free flight students, and it is just the cutest thing ever. Right, Kaylee, call her here. Legend. Here Flo is in action with her owners, Paul and Kaylee, doing some of her first A to Bs. She is just a ninja of the skies, this bird. Now this is Leo and Rob doing some basic A to B on their first time outside. Now this little dude is Rio the blue and gold and his mum Cassie. This was their first day at mine. She's just trained her little butt off and this bird is an absolute star. It's so proud to see this guy. Now, here we have Ziggy, my latest flyer, who is a blue and gold, who I hand reared when he was little and he'd gone off to a new home. Sadly, it didn't work out, so he's come back. And here he is doing some of his first flights and he's an absolute star. Now, here he is flying with my friend Lucy's green wing and her little green cheek conure, uh, flocking a little bit to start, but just coming back to his dad as quick as he can.
A very exciting secret which is now out. This is Diego, my tiny toucan. He is a green aracari, which is one of the smallest toucan species. So known as an aracari, but technically a toucan. So dreams do come true, so never give up. He is such a baby. He just wants to get in next to his dad, nuzzle down and go to sleep. Some evenings he'll just lie there, fall asleep and you have to pick him up like a kid and carry him off to bed. It is just the cutest thing in the whole wide world. I mentioned at the start how far Coco has come along and here is a prime example. <gasps> You've come a long way, haven't you? Yes, you're like a different birdie. Are you like a different birdie? <sighs> I hope you've enjoyed this video because I had a great time putting it together. It's just been so nice to look over some of the really nice memories that I've made over the last few months. If you've enjoyed this video, be sure to hit that subscribe button, give us a massive thumbs up, and we'll see you really, really soon. Take care, guys.